Now the program is going to tab 6 of subprogram 1. First we see that W has to be positive because it's set to its absolute value. Then we see that it's forced to be between 0 and 49 with a mod of 50. Then we hit a wait statement that says every time it gets here it's going to subtract the step value from W. And if it becomes 0 or less it's going to continue on this way down. But if it's 1 or greater it's going to go to EL and here is EL. Now if it is 0 or less it's going to get set to 40 and then the that is bar is going to get the value of W. So what we're going to see if we execute this is we're going to see that every once in a while W is displayed because it was reset to 40. Up here is the step number. Step is now at 3. So it's 3 that gets subtracted from W each time. Now if we subtract a bigger number from W each time, say click this up to 5, notice how fast it's going. Because it's subtracting 5 from W every time. Now if we go the other way and go down to 2, notice it takes a lot more time for it to reset to 40. Well, now let's go back to the program. After that part of the program, here at EL, it fills the first five characters of line with ASCII value 67, which is the letter C. And here it fills the first five numbers in a list A with a value of 9. Then it says if all five of the characters at line R67 go to EM. Well, we know they are 67. We just put them there. So it will go to EM. And then it says if all the values, the first five values of list A are 9, go to EM. Well, it would go to EM because we did. We filled it with 9s. Then there's a HALT 7. So we know that it should never get the HALT 7. Both of these will redirect it to EM. So we'll execute it. And then we'll say find the trail. And we see that it gets the home. The first time it sees one of those that takes it to EM, it goes to EM. Well, when the trail. This time we're going to look at tab 8. But first I want you to know that I've already run tab 7. Which built some data and wrote it in record number 1 and record number 2 of a file that is at page A. So let's now go and look at tab 8. First we tell it to read record number 1 from a file that's defined at page A and put all its numeric values into list 1. Then we say here go around a 4 next loop 5 times. Well, you see a 4, but it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 5 times. And each time, put on the status line the value that you found at list 01. Then do the same thing after you read record 2. Here's the 2. The name of the files at page A. Put the values in list 01 again. And then for i equals 0 to 4, adding 1 each time, show the value of list 01 plus i, and then go home. Now we'll execute it. 
what we see as the first time it read the record, which is record number one, it found five values. Each one of them was one. And then when it read the second value, it found five twos. So we could also run the trail. We'll see in the trail that this is, it was told to go to tab eight, and it did, it went to tab eight, read the record, went around the loop and put the five values on the status line, and then it read record number two, and did the same thing. Yeah, record number two is going around and writing them again. Knows it takes more instructions to go around and do all of them. And then it exits. That's the end of the trail. This time the program is going to tab 9 of subprogram 1. And the first instruction it executes in the routine is note 2. Which means to display note 2 in the note box. So here we're going to go down here and look at notes 1 through 5. And yes, we see note number 2. First line is this is note number 2. Second line, it was requested by subprogram 1, tab 9. Well, we could right away execute the application. And sure enough, here in the blue note box are those two lines. Then it sets A to 1, B to 2, and for I equals 1 to 6, one at a time, it shows the status of A in the status line, and then it swaps A with B. Well, let's see what happened. Well, first it's 1, it swapped it with 2, then it swapped it back to 1, swapped it to 2, swapped it to 1, swapped it to 2. There are 6 values there. Back to the program. Next thing it does, it fills 8 things at hold with spaces. Then it fills 8 things at line with 97, which is an ASCII lowercase a. Then it moves four things to hold from line. Then it says capitalize the first two characters of hold. Well, let's execute it. Let's look at data. In particular, let's look at hold. Ah, we see, well, there was eight spaces. It moved four lowercase a's, and then it capitalized the first two. Now we'll end data and go back to the program. On the next lines, it says, fill the first eight numbers in list 02 with a value of 32. Then it says fill the first eight values in list 01 with 97. Then it says move four of the values in list 01 to list 02. Well, let's see what happened. We'll execute the program. This time we'll go to data and we're going to lit, lit to list 02. Well, we see that at the beginning it said it moved eight thirty twos into it. Yep, there's would have been the eight thirty twos, but it put four ninety sevens over top. Well, that's the end of the data. On to the next one. While programming, get information from the glossary by clicking info. Thank you for watching.